Now, with that general overview, that brings me to talk more specifically about the SAINT protocol. And I'm just going to cut right to the chase on it, okay? SAINT is a proprietary protocol that finishes treatment in just five days. There are other protocols that use uh, functional connectivity MRI, but SAINT just happens to be proprietary, okay? There are specific equipment and specific uh, algorithm requirements. And if you don't have those things, you're not actually getting SAINT protocol. For today's topic, we are going to be talking about something very specific, which are the different types of accelerated protocols that are available on the market today. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Accelerated protocols are the most talked about and the most publicized for TMS. In particular, the SAINT protocol, which stands for Stanford Accelerated Intelligent Neuromodulation Therapy. Now, when you do TMS, you are essentially targeting a very specific area of the brain. And what SAINT and other functional connectivity protocols, very important term there, okay, functional connectivity protocols offer is more specificity and more precision for the target location. Now, the question that you need to ask yourself as a patient to your provider that's offering MRI guided TMS is what type of post-processing do you offer for your MRIs? And you need to make sure that the MRI is actually able to see the functional connectivity because the functional connectivity shows the part of the cortex or the target area, which you can see here in this picture, that most connects to the subgenual anterior cingulate cortex, okay? The SGACC is highly correlated with affecting depression and anxiety when it gets stimulated. Okay, so to put it in even simpler terms, using functional connectivity for TMS is the difference between being in the city of where you wanna deliver treatment versus being at the front door of where you wanna deliver treatment without the post-processing, without actually being able to see the functional connectivity, you're still using some of the same techniques as if you didn't have the MRI to begin with. That brings me to talk more specifically about the SAINT protocol. And I'm just gonna cut right to the chase on it. SAINT is a proprietary protocol that finishes treatment in just five days. There are other protocols that use uh, functional connectivity MRI, but SAINT just happens to be proprietary. There are specific equipment and specific algorithm requirements. And if you don't have those things, you're not actually getting SAINT protocol. Now, if you look at Magnus Medical's website, Okay, which these are the people that actually make the TMS machine for the same protocol. You can see here uh, down in the FAQs, you know, it's talking about a provider in my area is offering Saint, but I don't see them listed on the website. I wonder why <laughs> this is what the website says. There are many variations of transcranial magnetic stimulation protocols and some providers are offering accelerated treatment pathways but the only sites offering FDA cleared Saint therapy are those that are listed here. And if you go up and you look at the map, that only looks like uh, maybe six places. There you go. That's a brand name, like Pepsi, that's a brand name. I stand behind it, I guarantee it. Now, most insurance companies are not covering accelerated protocols. And if insurance doesn't cover it, I have heard of prices for St. Protocol being somewhere between $25,000 and $50,000 out of pocket. Which brings me to other options for accelerated treatment, more affordable options, I guess you could say. Now, if you look at this chart, you can get functional connectivity TMS. They use a different algorithm from the same protocol. They use a different machine from the same protocol, as I've already mentioned. But again, if the practice you go to is able to use functional connectivity, even though it's different from Saint, functional connectivity MRI, not functional MRI, not just an MRI, because those are completely different things. The results that you'll see from functional connectivity when compared to the proprietary protocol is expected to be pretty similar. And yes, for those of you that are curious, in case you don't have a provider near you that has either of those, either SAINT or just regular functional connectivity, you can still do accelerated treatments without an MRI. You would just simply go through the traditional mappings of the target area, and you might be using a 3D guided uh, uh, imaging 
testing for your mapping? Is it for your treatment locations? You might be using a cap. Um, some people use uh, head placement and measurements to keep things consistent bet uh, between treatments. So you can do it without an MRI. It's just the downside is you're sacrificing the precision and the accuracy that an MRI affords. For my practice, I only plan to use functional connectivity MRI for my accelerated protocols. That's mostly because if I only have five days, plus my patients are paying out of pocket, I will want to be as sure as possible, as precise as possible, as specific as possible, as accurate as possible about the target location before going full bore for five straight days. With traditional mappings and treatments, it's not uncommon to need to remap for various reasons throughout the course of seven weeks. So you get a little bit more time to make adjustments, you get a little bit more time to monitor, uh, but with the accelerated protocols, five days is much shorter than, you know, the seven weeks time that you have to, to, to make those adjustments. For more information about this topic and more general information about TMS, feel free to subscribe to this channel or you can visit my website at www.neopsych.com. Again, my name is Dr. Thomas Hughes. I'm an adolescent and adult psychiatrist here in Southern California. Take care.